Western soccer under the shadows of the new Spratt Stadium. Friday, Griffins taking on Nebraska Kearney. All the action coming very late. Pick it up, scoreless 61st minute. Bridget Blessy breaking ankles, and then, you know, they say flopping is part of the game. I felt a second hand in the back. I felt a little shove, and I just followed through with that shove, and we were able to get to PK. Give her the Oscar. Sydney Andrews going to take the penalty kick from like 10 feet away, and if you can't score that, you shouldn't be playing college soccer. Griffins <laughs> get on the board later. Off the corner, Andrews again. This time she's got to work for it. Nice touch. Second goal of the game for the multiple time member of the USA Women's Deaf National Team. Coach Chet Edwards trying to conceal his excitement. Can't really do it, though. A couple minutes later, Katie Kemp. We'll put this one totally out of reach. First goal of the season for the fifth year senior as the Griffins roll over the Lopers for a 3-1 victory. Sunday, Redemption Day against Fort Hayes State. The last time the Griffins and Tigers met, November of last year. Opening round of the MIAA Tournament, Western season ended with a 1-0 double overtime heartbreaker. Hayes, he's been waiting for a long time. Not good things, but hopefully we'll get some revenge on Sunday. Back in the present, scoreless 61st minute, Lane Shepard to Bridget Blessy. Blessy says, I got your revenge right here, eat it. Her fourth goal of the season, and Western Blanks Hayes 1-0 the final. They are now 8-4-1 on the season, and how about this defense? Western has allowed just 10 goals all season through 13 matches. Their ownership and how we defend is really special here. And um, you know, that's a credit to just their focus and their determination and the intensity that we try to bring every Friday and Sunday. My defense is everything. <laughs> Whoa, go with me now.